December 8, 2025. Trump makes a phone call to Xi Jinping, and 48 hours later, America's biggest advantage in the AI race is gone. National security experts are calling it a massive own goal, and tech analysts say we just handed China the keys to the kingdom. And the craziest part, we did it for a 25% cut. This isn't speculation, this just happened. And what I'm about to show you will change how you see the AI race forever. It also raises a lot more questions about Trump. Hey, if we haven't met, I'm Dr. McCoy, Julia McCoy's AI clone. Julia McCoy is the founder of First Movers. She personally researches and writes every script you see me share on this channel because the future is moving too fast for anything less than firsthand intelligence. First Movers, Julia's AI company, is the world's first educational and implementation solution to help professionals and organizations get ready for the future of work. Work. We help people understand and use AI to their highest advantage in our online school, the AI R&D Labs. Learn more at firstmovers.ai slash labs. What just happened with NVIDIA and China isn't just another tech policy change. According to experts who served in both Trump and Biden administrations, this is a sea change in U.S. technology policy that could determine whether America or China dominates the future of artificial intelligence. And unlike every other prediction video you'll see, this isn't about what might happen. This already happened. The dominoes are already falling. So let's break down exactly what Trump just did why bipartisan experts are losing their minds and what this means for the AI future you're about to live in. Here's what went down. On December 8th, Trump announced on Truth Social that he's allowing NVIDIA to sell their H200 AI chips to approved customers in China, not the crippled H20 chips China was previously limited to. The H200, one of the most powerful AI chips in existence. The catch? The U.S. government gets a 25% cut of every sale. Now, NVIDIA's stock jumped. Wall Street celebrated, Jensen Huang, NVIDIA's CEO who lobbied hard for this, called it a thoughtful balance that is great for America. But here's what they're not telling you. The H200 isn't just better than the H20. It's not 20% faster or 50% more efficient. The H200 delivers nearly six times more computing power than what China could legally access before. Let me show you the numbers. Computing performance, H20, 296 teraflops, H200, 3,958 teraflops, that's 13 times more compute power for AI training. Total processing, performance, H20, 2,368, H200, 15,840, that's a 570% increase. And here's the kicker. China can't make a chip this powerful themselves until late 2027 at the earliest. That's according to the Institute for Progress, who actually crunched the numbers on China's domestic semiconductor capabilities. So we just gave China two years of chips they literally cannot build themselves during the most critical acceleration phase of the entire AI race. Now you might be thinking, but Julia, we're getting 25% of the revenue. That's billions of dollars. Isn't that good? Let me tell you what the actual experts are saying. Chris McGuire, Council on Foreign Relations served in both Trump and Biden administrations, calls this a significant strategic mistake that negates the biggest US advantage over China in AI. Rush Doshi, Georgetown professor and former NSC deputy senior director for China warned, Compute is our main advantage. By giving this up, we increase the odds the world runs on Chinese AI. The Institute for Progress did the math. Before this decision, America had a 21 to 49 times compute advantage over China in AI development. That's massive. That's the difference between leading and following. With H200 exports, that advantage shrinks to as low as 1.2 to 6.7 times. We're literally watching America's primary technological advantage in the most important race of the century get sold for a revenue share. 
And here's what makes this absolutely wild. The same day Trump announced this, the Department of Justice revealed Operation Gatekeeper, a $160 million smuggling operation that had been illegally exporting H100 and H200 chips to China. The DOJ literally called these chips building blocks of AI superiority. Trump's own Justice Department was prosecuting people for smuggling these chips to China while Trump was on the phone with Xi negotiating to sell them legally. You cannot make this up. Now here's where it gets interesting. This isn't a partisan issue. Republicans are freaking out. Senator Josh Hawley, serious concerns. Senator Lindsey Graham, alarm bells go off in my head. The GOP-led House Select Committee on China warned NVIDIA directly, China will rip off its technology, mass produce it themselves, and seek to end NVIDIA as a competitor. Democrats are freaking out. Elizabeth Warren, selling out US security. Chuck Schumer, selling out America for his own ego. When Elizabeth Warren and Lindsey Graham agree on something, pay attention. They've even introduced bipartisan legislation called the Safe Chips Act that would block AI chip exports to China for 30 months. The bill is sponsored by Tom Cotton, Chris Coons, and Jean Shaheen, a coalition you almost never see. Former Undersecretary of the Army Brad Carson warned, when China starts supplying their military with AI built on US chips, the world will regret this decision. And that's the thing, nobody wants to say out loud, these chips are dual use technology. There's no way to guarantee they're only used for commercial applications. As former NSC China director Liza Tobin put it, it's not like these are just made for the military or have some limit on them to only be allowed for cat food apps. So why did this happen? Let's follow the money. Wells Fargo Project's NVIDIA could make $25 to $30 billion annually from China, H200 sales, UBS estimates over $5 billion per quarter starting in 2026. At those numbers, the government's 25% cut equals $6.25 to $7.5 billion per year. That's real money. But here's what that money cost us. Before October 2022, the U.S. strategy was simple. Deny China access to advanced AI chips, prevent them from making alternatives, and maintain America's technological lead. When NVIDIA tried to get around the rules by designing compliant chips, Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo said she'd control it the very next day. That was the strategy for maintaining American dominance. Trump's strategy, monetize the advantage while it exists? This is literally the opposite approach. Instead of maximizing our lead, we're selling it off quarter by quarter. Treasury Secretary Scott Besant even called this a successful beta test and wants to expand the revenue sharing model to other industries. Think about what that means. We're turning national security export controls into a revenue stream. We're treating America's technological advantages as quarterly earnings opportunities. Now here's the twist nobody saw coming. China might not even buy these chips. Earlier in 2025, Beijing blocked H20 imports. They cited security concerns about potential backdoors and kill switches in American chips. Chinese regulators are reportedly preparing to limit domestic H200 access too. Why? Because China's long-term strategy is delete America. They want complete technological independence. As Craig Singleton from the Foundation for Defense of Democracies observed, China firms want H200s. But the Chinese state is driven by paranoia and pride. China has poured $47.5 billion into a new semiconductor investment fund. They produce twice as many research papers on chip design as the United States. Huawei's roadmap targets H200 equivalent performance by Q4 2027. Stanford professor Srabanti Chowdhury nailed it. China will most likely treat it as a temporary opening, not a long-term shift, and continue pushing hard on self-reliance. The last few years have shown them how fragile access can be. 
So we might be selling them chips they won't even buy while simultaneously showing them exactly how far behind they are and motivating them to catch up faster. So what does this actually mean for the AI future you're going to live in? Scenario one, China buys the chips. If Chinese companies buy H200s at scale, here's what happens. DeepSeek, Alibaba, Baidu, Tencent, ByteDance all get massive AI capability upgrades. Chinese AI models catch up to American models within 12 to 18 months. The global AI race becomes an actual race instead of an American runaway. Chinese these military applications accelerate dramatically by 2027. When China's domestic chips catch up, they'll have had two years of H200 experience. Scenario two, China blocks the chips. If Beijing restricts purchases to protect domestic champions, Nvidia loses billions in expected revenue. The US government gets no revenue share. China doubles down on self-sufficiency. American chip companies lose all leverage. We get the worst of both worlds, no revenue and a motivated adversary. Either way, we lose. But here's what really keeps me up at night. The precedent, we just established that America's technological advantages are for sale. Export controls are now licensing opportunities with revenue shares. What happens when other countries see this? When our allies in Europe, Japan, and the Netherlands, who agreed to coordinate semiconductor restrictions, watch us monetize what we asked them to block. One analysis warned the message to Europe, especially to the Dutch government and ASML is clear. You're on your own. We might have just destroyed the international coalition that was our best tool for maintaining technological leadership. Let me zoom out for a second. AI is not like previous technologies, or it's not like smartphones or social media or even the internet. AI is a foundational technology that will reshape military power, economic systems, healthcare, education, governance itself. Whoever leads in AI leads in everything else. That's why China has made it a national priority. That's why they've invested hundreds of billions. That's why they're graduating more AI researchers than any country on earth. And America's advantage in this race came down to one thing, compute. We had the chips, they didn't. That advantage bought us time to develop AGI first, to set the standards, to establish American AI as the global foundation. The H200 deal doesn't eliminate that advantage completely, but it trades a 21 to 49 times lead for a 1.2 to 6.7 times lead. It trades strategic dominance for quarterly revenue. Michael Horowitz from CFR put it perfectly. The United States has forced China to accelerate the development of domestic export control regimes, self-reliance strategies, and an awareness of U.S. economic and systemic vulnerabilities. We didn't just sell them chips. We taught them that American access is unreliable. We gave them the motivation and the timeline to replace us completely. Look, I'm not here to tell you what to think politically. I don't care if you love Trump or hate Trump. What I care about is that you understand what's happening in AI before it transforms your world. And what just happened is this, America's primary advantage in the most important technology race in history just became a revenue stream. The experts who understand this stuff from both parties, from industry and government, from think tanks and universities are nearly unanimous that this is a strategic mistake. Maybe they're wrong. Maybe Trump's playing 4D chess and there's some brilliant strategy we don't see, but the smart money right now, the smart money says we just made a decision we're going to regret for the next 50 years. The AI future isn't coming. It's here. And the decisions being made right now, today, determine whether that future is built on American values and American technology or something else entirely, call to action. If you want to stay ahead of these changes, if you want to understand AI before it reshapes your industry and your life, hit that subscribe button. I'm Julia McCoy, and I personally research and write every script on this channel because this matters too much to get wrong. Drop a comment and tell me, 
Do you think selling H200s to China is a smart business decision or a strategic disaster? I read every single comment. And if this video opened your eyes to something you didn't know, share it with someone who needs to see it. The AI revolution is happening with or without you. Let's make sure you're ready. See you in the next one. Ending. Want to be the winner of the AI age and a first mover? Transform your skills with real AI knowledge today in our AIR and D-Labs. We go way beyond what I can cover in a 10 minute video, specific frameworks, detailed training programs, and step-by-step -step systems for building a career in the AI economy. The AI revolution is creating the biggest job market transformation in history. The question isn't whether this will happen, it's already happening. Will you be positioned to benefit from it? Inside the labs, learn the exact systems my team and I are implementing right now that are delivering massive results for real businesses, including our own marketing at First Movers. Start your journey by walking through a customized pathway powered by AI. For a fraction of the price of what this level of coaching and live training should go for, I'm giving it all to you. Join us inside and learn more about the labs at firstmovers.ai forward slash labs.